June 30th. So we're about to wrap up the month of June here and move out of the vibration of six where we had to kind of focus on the smaller details of our lives, of our thoughts, of our feelings to determine whether or not we are actually in alignment with creating something new or we're very attached to the old and therefore repeating old patterns, old behaviors. Now moving into July, we're definitely going to get a whole different vibe. I am going to recommend that you kind of check out July's energy forecast, July's zodiac forecast, as well as they drop for your downloading pleasure. But here today, we have eight different aspects taking place. All eight are involving the moon, which means that we are having an emotional refinement kind of day. Seems very fitting as we are wrapping up the sixth cycle, moving into the seventh cycle, we have a lot to process. We just had the last quarter moon pop off in Aries energy on Friday. We just had Saturn go retrograde. So now we kind of have to sit with it. We have to reflect. We have to kind of review. We have to kind of, again, refine our emotional disposition. So the moon in Aries energy is going to go void, of course, 58 minutes into the day. We're locking into Taurus energy at 8.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, the transition from Aries energy to Taurus energy is always noticed because we are kind of moving out of having a fire or spark and impulse of flame kind of push us into taking action, into making moves, the bold, the brave, the courageous type of energy kind of settles down. That Taurus energy needs us to slow down, smell the roses, move within ourselves, gain our bearings, and start working on our self-confidence, on our self-esteem, getting in check and in alignment with the new wants, needs, and desires, the new values that we are recognizing that we have before we go ahead and actually start making progress here in the physical realm. So to kick the day off, we do have the moon in Aries energy, making a positive interaction with Uranus, the Great Awakener in this Taurus energy, which is definitely going to put us in a situation to be receiving insights, profound light bulb moments, epiphanies on where it is that we need to do things differently, where it is that we have to start focusing more on the present moment in the future versus being totally sucked in to the past. I know we're in cancer season, so that's a very hard attachment to kind of break away from. However, the moon in Aries energy giving us a little bit more tenacity to really start focusing on what we want to be building towards instead of what it is that we're trying to work our way away from. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring and square off with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in this cancer energy. So of course, our heart space, the moon, our head space, Mercury, they're not on the same page. We're getting into the boxing ring. We have have to be illuminated to the distance in between where it is emotionally speaking we're all fired up we want to start something new but mentally speaking we're still very much reviewing the past stuck in a loop type of program to really hash out the tough love life lessons that typically speaking just go thrown at our face and where it is that we're having a hard time thinking about the future because again still very immersed in the past it's at this particular point in time that the moon is going to go void of course and while the moon is void things are shaky things are uncertain things are unstable we become irritated agitated in this Aries energy the moon is going to make a positive interaction with the sun though in this cancer energy, which is going to bring forth a new emotional awareness, a new aha moment on what we need, what we want, what we desire to feel safe, to feel secure, like we're starting fresh. This is going to really reveal to us where it is that again, in the emotional processing, we're slowly but surely making our way away from being so focused on the past and we are trying to kind of convince ourselves that focusing on the present moment and focusing in on the future is definitely going to help us to cut the cord from a lot of the chapters that are now closing. The moon in this Aries energy, while void, is going to make a positive interaction with Neptune in his place of power in this Pisces energy at 29 degrees. So this particular interaction is going to kind of fire us up in our inner realm to remind us what it is that we want to be building, what we want to be creating, what we're being called to do, called to pursue. This is going to kind of renew, refresh our inner realm, our soul, our spirit, 
our, let's call it mood and attitude to kind of close the door on some of these older chapters and again, actively start moving towards new goals, new visions, new dreams. 8.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is shifting into this Taurus energy. You're definitely going to feel time slow down. You're going to feel more presence, if you will, and you're definitely going to feel heavier and weighted in your physical body. If you want to take a listen to this week's Ascension forecast to understand where this energy is manifesting in your physical body, probably a good idea to do that. We have to stay ahead of the game. About two and a half hours later, we do have the moon in Taurus making its very first aspect, not a favorable one. We're getting into the boxing ring. We're squaring off. We're fighting Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. So first of all, we have to understand that Pluto retrograde is trying to show us where it is that the division between the parts of self need to be unified. So again, there's a division, a power struggle between the old version of self, the new version of self, the ego self, the higher self, the inner realm versus the outer realm. This particular energy is definitely going to feel conflicting because Pluto needs us to kind of examine the areas of division within us in order for us to bridge that gap, to unify, to find ourselves in a place of wholeness so that we can start improving our situation and we can start resolving some of these problems that are essentially keeping us stuck in this present moment and mostly stuck in the past. Because the Aquarius energy is futuristically focused and we're trying to kind of gain a vision, a goal, a dream on where it is that we would like to end up, the moon in Taurus energy that needs to be present in the here and now, very conflicted, not wanting to think about the past, not wanting to think about the future, but instead trying to focus on the silver linings, the good parts of this present moment in the here and now. The moon is then going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Saturn, who is now retrograde in this Pisces energy. So again, there's some harsh reality checks coming at us. There's some tough love life lessons coming out of Saturn's retrograde. Karma is being kind of reviewed, revised. We're being dealt a brand new karmic hand, so to speak, since entering into the solstice energy and now having Saturn kind of go retrograde. We are going to be restructuring our physical realms, our physical lives based on the new identity that we are standing in, the new belief system that we are adopting. This particular tension point is going to illuminate for us where it is that, again, there is this pull to the past, to reviewing where it is that we're coming from. The moon in Taurus energy really does not want to think too far in the past or far into the future. Instead, we have to find happiness, peace, harmony, and joy in this present moment. So there is a conflict happening here. There is a heaviness, a weight kind of really pressurizing us to kind of move inward, to really challenge the old set of beliefs, the old self-worth, the old self-confidence, and of course, boss up to new roles and responsibilities, to new levels of worth and love and deserving within ourselves. The moon in Taurus then going to make a positive interaction with Venus. Venus rules over the Taurus energy. Venus being the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this cancer energy, trying to figure out new worth, new values, what she needs to do in her physical realm in order to create safety, security, and stability. The moon interacting with Venus in this way is going to show us through aha moments, through epiphanies, through heart activations, what it is that we need to do, what we need to pursue, what we need to build, what we need to create in order to stabilize our physical realms. We have wounds that are still very alive and well that we have to heal. We have parts of self that we're still not comfortable with. We have certain aspects of our physical realms that we need to wrap up the loose ends and provide a finality, a closure point before we can start actively pursuing a new path, pursuing new aspects in our physical realm to help stabilize the, let's call it choppy emotional waters that this cancer season has thrown us into. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Taurus energy, making a very positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who just happens to be in this Gemini energy. Again, kind of debating between two different paths, two different directions, two different choice points and decisions, especially where growing and evolving is concerned. The moon interacting with Jupiter in this way is a boost to our self-confidence, to our self-esteem. 
We are definitely more optimistic about the futuristic path direction that we have available of to us at this present time. But again, we're lacking the self-confidence, we're lacking the self-esteem, we're lacking the preparedness that we feel like we have to be in in order to actually actively start moving in a different path. Nonetheless, this is definitely gonna put us in a better mood, a better attitude to see ourselves in a different light and to really start hashing out the path, the direction, the choice point, the decision that we feel most called to do and called to pursue.